I am very glad because just now I coded up Conway's Game of Life in Python and I have a working interactive version that I'm going to show you right now. It works like this. I have a, oops, I need to go select it on my other screen. I can use keys on the keyboard to make this little selector go up and down. I can use the spacebar, it's a little fiddly, but I can use the spacebar to pause and unpause the simulation that is Conway's Game of Life. And then I can hit, I can push pause again and I can hit enter and make my own arbitrary design. And I press spacebar and let's see what it does. There, it went for a while, but then those died off. I left this one up in the top. That thing that's moving in the top left corner, I'll talk about that later. I'll talk about that now. Let me make something similar. If you make three in a row and start it, you'll notice that it gets a pattern that, you know, it's a, it's a pattern that goes one, two, one, two, one, two. Mathematically, you can say it has a period of two on this pattern. I'm going to see what happens if I make a bar that's four cells long. It moves a little bit, but then it gets stuck. Now what if we change one of these? It goes away. What if I try to be quick? Just kind of mash keys. Oh, that's nice. Now let's put one here. Let's put one here. And, oh, there, 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 it's, there it got going. That's nice and symmetric, but why don't I kind of... Oh, oh, perfect. Now I can mess it up a little bit. And suddenly it starts to lose that symmetry. Oh, this is quite fun. Is it going to disrupt that one on the edge? It did. Wow, to think people played this by drawing it all out by hand back in the I don't know what decade. But I don't have to draw it out by hand and calculate it by hand because I have my program that does it for me. And by the way, if you've been paying attention, you may notice that there are um, there's some code in the background here that is the code I wrote. And in future videos, I think I'm going to go through and explain this code. In fact, I think I'm going to do sort of a tutorial series where I explain various skills that I used to build this. And that's going to include Pygame that I kind of taught myself this morning and Pytest that I've used a little bit before, but I understand a lot better now. And also Git. I used Git to track my changes, and that way I can go back. I know I can go back in time if anything, if I break anything, basically. So that's three educational videos I can make right there around the process of making this. Yeah, making this game, which I'm gonna play with a little bit more of and then end the video. What does it do if I do a grid like this? Ah, uh, it's fiddly. I need to make it a little nicer to use. Oh, they just they just all die. All right, let's. What if we do it? Almost all of those. started. Ha! <laughs> okay. This, I think, could be endlessly fascinating. I may play with it on stream a little bit today, but for now I'm going to sign off. Thanks for watching.